Yes. So I think what's important to note is that um, the UK wants to be Uganda's partner of choice when it comes to business and trade relations. So in terms of the summit and what we expect out of it, um, we want to see more deals. We want to see greater opportunities for both countries to work together on trade and investment. And also, we ultimately want to see bigger growth, we want to see more jobs in Uganda. We want to see economic prosperity. And from our conversations with the Ugandan government, um, we have talked about the 2040 vision to become a middle income status country. So trade will be a big part of that relationship. Um, so ultimately, what we want to do is create business and create more investments. Um, so I think, yeah, we've um, now, um, in coming up in the future, um, we want to do more. Um, I mean, in, our investments are increasing year on year here in Uganda. So um, I think where we see things increasing is around our more tailored approach to our business relationship here. So we are doing a lot more in terms of speaking to the Ugandan government about what exactly they want to get out of this. This isn't a one-way street. Um, this isn't about the UK coming to Uganda and saying, we want to offer you X, Y, and Z. What we're actually saying to you is, what would you like out of our relationship? And, and we are using that and, and taking that and using our approach to, to kind of work alongside the government on that. I think that is what's different to what we've done previously. So I think in terms of priority areas, um, that's very much led by our conversations with the government. Um, if I was to name a few areas, I would say agriculture is probably the biggest area that we want to get involved with. Um, as um, we all know that around 70% of the Ugandan population is still involved in agricultural processing. Um, therefore, it's natural that if we're going to grow the economy here in Uganda, that that will be our first step to look at.